Hi, today we're going to make Christmas stocking holders and we're going to be using IOD's Ginger and Spice Mold. And you can see I already got started by um, pouring resin molds. And if you have any questions about how to do that, I have a video on that and I'll try to remember to link it below so you can watch that. And then I painted them up and I did the mom, the dad, and the little boy. So now I'm going to paint the girl. And if you have a puppy, you can do the dog also. Um, to get the color for um, this, and for some reason, um, I seem to have forgotten the color of gingerbread. I was thinking it was more on the red side, but I think it's really more on the orange side. Um, so I mixed a little bit of... Um, prairie gray DIY paint and I'm just going to bring this mat over so I can mix on it but I just used a little bit of the brown and then I put a little bit of the red in it and just mixed it up and to get this color let's see I'll use this one Stir it together. I'm just using um, dollar store plastic mat from their kitchen section. It works really well for mixing on or doing crafts on so you don't make a mess all over your dining room table. But this is a great one to do in front of the TV. I just had so such a relaxing evening last night by just sitting there painting these. I had a Halloween show on. I think we had um, Transylvania. No, not Transylvania. Oh shoot, I can't remember the name of it. It's a animated show and just had it on in the background. <laughs> Doing Christmas stuff with Halloween movies on. I think I almost like this color that I did better than the one I did last night. But this is why the flat brushes are good. They just go along that edge. And I did get a little extra on there. And you could wipe it off, but I would just let it dry. And I think I will go ahead and dry that a little bit before I continue. So it is now dry. So now I'm going to paint the bow and the dress next. And I think I'm going to do that in red. I'm trying to figure out which paintbrush I want to use. This is a good time to have um, a collection of smaller paint brushes. That way you can decide what works best. So now what I want to do, and her button isn't quite dry yet, but I'll start on the dots and I'm going to paint those white and I'm using white swan for that. So I'm using just a teeny tiny brush for this and just getting a little bit of paint on there and then just going to dot the dots. <laughs> And then I'm going to do the buttons green because I need to pull some green in. And as this dries, I can see where I'm needing to touch up. Yeah. 
So next what we want to do is we want to assemble the base and this will be what sits over um, wherever you put your stockings whether it's your fireplace or if you have like a, a cabinet or something it will sit um, over the edge of whatever piece you're using. So I'm using I think this is a um, five inch wide board. Maybe it's a four, that might be three and a half inches, but this can be any size. And then, cause I'm just basically using scrap wood. And then this is a two inch and I just glued them together. If you want, you could put some um, pin nails in there, but this is mine that I glued together already. And I'm just gonna take the sanding pad and kind of make the edges just a smidge softer and also just get off any little funkiness from cutting on the saw. You can see that, just get that off. And because it's white, you might want to need to do one or two um, coats of this depending on what um, it looks like <laughs> so I'm going to find the middle of each one of your um, holders and this one's five inches, so I'm gonna mark it at two and a half. And this is on the bottom. And you can do the hook on this a couple different ways. You can do it the way I'm doing it here with one of these hooks. Um, I will paint this white once it's um, in there. I thought I had some white ones, but I'm not seeing them. Or you don't have to put the name on the front. You could just put the hook on the front. Um, either way, you could use one of those white or um, silver or gold, um, just regular hooks that you find at um, Home Depot. That being said also, and I'm just going to get this started, and you can do these by hand, but if you have a drill, you can um, drill a little hole to get it started. So I'm just going to start twisting this in. But what I wanted to say about Home Depot, Home Depot cuts lumber for people, and a lot of times people don't want to take the scraps home so they have like this garbage can next to the saw and I don't know if they'll just give you some of those pieces because they're they're basically trash you could always ask but also at Home Depot they will let you um, in the trim section find trim wood and you can um, cut them into um, an inch I mean an inch a foot long if that's all you're needing for a project and buy it that way or you can take it and go ahead and cut it into two six inch pieces and buy a foot of it but they sell it by the foot just some good information to know and they have a saw sitting right there so that you can cut it up um, so it's a good thing if you don't have like I do you know just wood pieces sitting around so I'm gonna have the hook facing front but for right now I'm gonna go ahead and take it out I just did it so it will be easy to put back in when I am done with the process. But in the meantime, you kind of need it to be doing this. So I thought, well, I'll put it in at the last minute. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of E6000 on this. And then I'm going to put a little, just a dot, drop of hot glue in the center. Because as I found out last week's project, you kind of want something to hold it while you're working on it. So I'm just, I think I'm going to center her. And then I'm going to put, once again little dab of hot glue I think this worked last week 
just putting a touch right on top of the other glue. And then on the front, it looks a little bit on the ugly side. So you know how I'm always telling you if you have over pores, just throw them in a box. This is a good time to use those, you know, especially with the trim pieces. Um, you can put, you know, depending on what you want it to look like. I kind of like the simplicity of that. So with these, it's because of it being resin, um, sometimes these are a little harder to cut once they've um, had time to completely cure. So what I use is I use wire cutters and I'm just going to put my finger there. I'm just going to use wire cutters and cut through or some, you know, if you've got some heavy duty shears that are for cutting wire or um, tin something along those lines and that'll work. So I'm just going to glue that to the top and then I'll also paint over it. So next what I want to do is I want to put the name across here. And so I'm using letterpress and we're going to name her Betsy. I thought about naming her Ginger since that's the name of the mold, but I thought Betsy was cute. So what I did is I lined up the letters here and I'm using a thin mount with the um, lines on it. If you have any of the old ones, they don't have lines. And I went ahead and put it in order. And I'm just gonna set this down and you can adjust this. You can stamp it first so that if, make sure you like it. And I'm using the Tomato um, DIY ink and my E just fell off. That looks pretty good. Perfect. All right, so let's decorate the top of this. I got both of these yesterday at the dollar store, Dollar Tree. Um, and I didn't know which size. These might be too small. I'm gonna just kind of play with it a little bit. And then I also have like this size tree which could be glued on there. But do whatever kind of uh, background, whatever kind of decoration you like. Um, you know, there's so many miniatures and whatnot out there. It's kind of fun, especially this time of year to be playing. That's very cute like that. I might do just that and then add some snow. Do I need another tree up there? Oh, there's different sizes in here. I didn't even realize that. So now I'm going to add my snow because I can't leave it alone. I just love the look of that. So I'm just going to take some um, craft glue. I picked this up at the dollar store also. Just kind of get it in there generously. But just move it around in there and you want it thick and I have to say and I know you guys are probably getting tired of me saying this but the way Pinterest and um, the search engines work for a lot of things is um, it t people do projects like this and you might catch it on um, YouTube but um, You'll see it on Pinterest like a year later, next Christmas. You will see Christmas ideas pop up. And I don't know why that is, but it just seems to take Pinterest a little bit of time to um, get, get these circulating. And so you don't buy the mold and you know that it's a limited release. 
and I know you're tired of me saying this, but buy the limited releases because next year, like everybody else, you know, you're trying to find it with everybody else. And I know some of you <laughs> are first out there, out of the gate, pick it up. You know who you are. Um, but then there's those people that don't. And then the next year they're trying to find it. And, um, you know, all over the place, they're looking for it. There's one mold that's on Etsy that's going for a ridiculous amount of money. And it it's just silliness. But the because it takes that much time for the ideas to circulate on social media, you don't, you say, well, I don't like that mold. I'm not going to use that mold. Well, quite honestly, you know, I wasn't thrilled with this gingerbread mold. And it's just a matter of personal style. And you may say, this isn't my style. Then the, I pulled it out. <laughs> I started this project. And I think it is stinking adorable. This mold. Um, and I didn't think I would. And so I'm even surprised sometimes by molds or stamps or whatnot that I think, Ugh, I won't use that. That's not my my taste. But yet then I do a project and it's like, well, wait a minute. This is really kind of an awesome um, piece. So just keep that in mind. I try not to nag about it too much, but you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, save yourself the grief because they are limited. So after I let the initial glue dry, I mounted up a little bit of glue and I also want a little bit of the um, snow in the back of this. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. And I went ahead and added the hook at the bottom, which I don't want to turn right now to show you. Um, well, maybe I can do it. And I painted it white and I also got a little crooked. So once all this is dry, I will straighten that up by just kind of bending it over. But that is our project for this week. I think it turned out adorable. I was not expecting to like this as much as I do. I know that's a horrible thing to say, but sometimes, you know, you're working on something and it just kind of comes together and you're like, yeah, yeah, that that's actually better than I expected. Um, so I just think it, it turned out super, super cute. But that's it. If you have any questions about any of the products I used, you can go to our website at www.boutiquepaint.com. And thank you so much for joining me. Bye.